Hello everyone and welcome to EduSearch Clinics. I am Dr. Gunjan Desai and today we will continue our research publishing series with a very interesting topic that is how to write a case series. Now if you have seen the previous video, some of the parts of the case series are more or less same as the case report. So you can see the part 3 of this series if you have not seen. While going ahead, we will see what is the difference between a case report and case series. A very simple definition of a case series is that it will contain more than or equal to two cases. Now, there are a lot of uh, different definitions of case series. There are a different types of case series. So that also we are going to see. We will see the structure of an informal case series which is a type of case series in this video okay and as always we will see some tips on writing the case series in a simplified manner and a template as well as a further reading material so report or series how do you decide understand that if you have only two cases you can write the article as a report of two cases or you can create a case series something 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 a case series okay so whenever you mention the word case series the paper should have at least two cases right as per the definition however if you have only two patients you can also write it as a report of two cases okay say a case of me and hernia you have operated then you have operated one again. It's a rare disease and you can write ME and Zernia, a report of two cases. Okay. Or you can call it a case series. Right. Sometimes the journal requirements or the author files in a journal will also show you whether you can write it as a case report or a case series in that journal. Right. So you can see the author requirements before making the article if your journal is finalized. Understand that a case series is also an observational research, okay, and it is descriptive in nature, right? So, these are more or less the similarities between a case report and a case series. Both are observational, both are descriptive, okay? However, a case series can also be prospective, and we will see the different types of case series, and it can have big cohorts, okay? A case report will not have more than one or two patients, whereas a case series can have 100 or 150 patients also, okay? So, it can have big cohorts and it can be prospective. So, when you identify a topic for case series, now this is something that you've already seen in the case report presentation, that anything that you have seen or done that is rare is a topic for a case report, and similarly, it is a topic for case series, right? So it can be a rare disease, rare presentation, a rare diagnostic or a management approach or a new technique, right? Or a rare outcome such as a long-term survivor after cancer treatment, something like that can be a rare scenario and you can put a case report or a case series. However, you don't always get a golden egg, right? You don't always get a rare phenomenon. And in these cases, the various types of case series can be utilized to publish your findings, okay? So an informal case series is a case series that corresponds to the format of a case report. And we will see the structure of an informal case series and the differences of presenting an informal case series from a case report in upcoming slides, okay? However, you have to understand that there are other types of case series which are cohort case series where you study a specific group of patients or population for a specific reason, okay? The reason can be a risk factor based study. Say you are understanding whether smoking causes lung cancer. This will be a prospective cohort of all the people who are smoking, okay? And you will understand, follow them up and study if the smoking is causing lung cancer, okay? Other thing is you can say, take a patient based cohort. Say you take all the patients of lung cancer, right? And that it can also be studied. So that is a patient-based cohort or you can take an area-based cohort, okay, a population cohort. We have already seen sampling techniques in all these studies. If you have missed that out, you can see the sampling uh, techniques video in the playlist. So it can be a risk factor-based and effect-based population or patient-based and therefore a case series can be prospective, not only retrospective. Right, a case report will always be retrospective. 
whereas a case series can be prospective or retrospective. So out of all these types, in this presentation, we will now see the structure of an informal case series, okay, and how it differs from a case report. So we have already seen four parts in an article for a case report, the introduction, then the case details, one of the very important parts of this paper, discussion and conclusion, right? So in introduction, now you will summarize the need for your research and raise a query. This is more or less like the case report and this is around 50 to 100 words. However, what is different in a case series is the case details, okay? So you can write it as patient 1, patient 2, patient 3 and put all the patient details as discussed in the case report for each of the patient. Okay, say patient 1, then you mention the demography, the clinical findings, the management approach and the follow-up. Then you start writing patient 2, similar headings, patient 3, similar headings. So that is one way of presenting all the cases separately in a paragraph. The other way of presenting is you create a table for all cases. Okay, we will see examples of both of these in some of my published work. Then coming to discussion, more or less same. Previous reports are seen, compared and contrasted with your findings, around 500 words. And only 5 to 10 cases can be summarized in a table. Conclusion, as always, is an answer to the introduction and around 50 to 100 words. So let us see some examples. This is one of my publications on ME and hernia. You can see that in this case series, what we have done is the cases are given separately, right? This is case one, case two, case three, right? Introduction and conclusion discussion are not much of a change from case report when it's an informal case series. But this is how you can present the cases, case one, case two, case three. Okay, the other way of presenting is in tabular form. So this is one of my article on a pancreatic fistula management. And you can say that the patient details, okay, patient 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the patient details are presented in a tabular format. So in this kind of presentation, all the patients will not be given in paragraphs. And I feel that when you have more than 3, 4 patients in a case series, this is a better way of managing, okay, because everything is summarized in one or two tables and that makes the presentation very easy, right? So these are some of the examples for case details part of a case series. Some important tips, as I always say, select the journal first so that you can format your article as per the journal guidelines from the beginning. Word count in most of the journals for case series is 800 to 1000 words and that is where the tabular presentation of case details help, okay. The 10 articles if you can find of last two years that will easily create your references. We will give you a template for a case series or you can create your own. Always compare your case with previous cases in discussion. And the relevant pictures and flowcharts, patient progress, table of investigation, all help in beautifying the article. As I always say, keep patient consents handy because you can't find these patients once they are discharged. Okay. So this is a template. You can get this in our book on scientific research publishing. You can see the introduction. We have given two paragraphs. Paragraph one, introduce, and two is the aim of the writing this report or series. Discuss each case separately or make a table. I've given both patterns in the template. Then your discussion and then your conclusion. Then you have other parts in the article which we will see. Like I have said, this is for an informal case series. If it's a cohort case series or a case series of any other variety, the design will be more or less like an original article. And with our next topic is going to be writing an original article. The video will be on three, four parts because one of the most important publishing types where you will be publishing your thesis also is an original article. This is our book. You, It is free on Amazon Kindle for the Kindle Unlimited readers. So you can have a look at this book where you have this and many other topics on scientific research publishing and all these templates are available there. Thank you.